Hey guys, so excuse the wind blown everything else um, this morning. It's a lot colder in New York than it was yesterday. Yesterday we had what 50 something degrees oh, and today not so much, but um, I wanted to come to you live because we are in Katie McCaffrey's neighborhood. So your destination is on the Katie left. McCaffrey coming out May 21st. There's a whole lot of, um, there's a whole lot of New York in this book. And one of the main places is Katie's neighborhood, um, which is in the West Village, basically. Um, here, I will show you. She lives on Bleecker Street. Um, there's the Magnolia Bakery right there that she frequents. Um, she loves the banana pudding. I fully intend to go get some in a moment. There's this lovely little park over there, which we never really talk about, but it's there and it was always in my mind as I thought of her walking past it all the time. Um, there's a bookmark. My sister's like going behind me. To <laughs> <laughs> um, the, okay, bookmark. So when I was here last, when Missy and I were here last year, um, we were like um, walking in this neighborhood because I already knew this was where Katie was gonna live. And I was scouting it out like, to get the feel of the neighborhood so I could write it. And I was like, bookmark, oh, it's a bookstore. Oh, it's overpriced, who cares? And then like, I did more research as I was writing the book and it's a Marc Jacobs bookstore. That's why it's overpriced. So I'm like, yeah, you're allowed to be overpriced if you're a Marc Jacobs Mark bookstore. Mark with a C, yeah, C. Bookmark, so. We that together. Yeah, we, we didn't put that together. So I'm gonna pass it off to Missy. And I'm gonna um, show you where Katie lives. So, come with me. On a walking tour. <laughs> On a walking tour. So, so you saw, yeah, right there's the Magnolia Bakery, right there's the bookmark. Come on, let's go. <laughs> um, there's lovely stores. There's a something, looks like candles. I don't really know. There's some shoes. Yeah, I didn't really research all that. That's not Katie's style so much. Katie's style was the Magnolia Bakery. But, if you'll come this way. <laughs> this is Katie McCaffrey's home. This is definitely where Katie lives. We have a lot of scenes of her stepping out onto the street, looking down Bleecker Street, and the dogs passing by even. So that all plays a role. Um, she's very near the subway, which is a good thing because we're gonna go hop on it here. In a, are you like that close to me? Yeah. <laughs> Heaven's depressing. Um, so yeah. And then there's a scene, if you've seen the book cover, you've seen the boombox on the cover of William Katie McCaffrey. And since this entire book is a tribute and um, homage to rom-coms, and it is a rom-com, um, we'll let the big truck pass by. Um, yeah, the boombox, obviously, um, represents say anything and there is a say anything moment in which spoilers Will Whitaker is out here with a boom box trying to get Katie's attention I won't tell you what happens um, but it's kind of a comedy of errors and it all happens right here I wish there was a way to get in there <laughs> but we could should we try we couldn't hire a realtor <laughs> or a lawyer <laughs> And we don't have bond money, bail money, so <laughs> so it's probably not gonna happen this trip. But this trip, this, this trip, this next trip. year. Um, but I love these apartments. I did a lot of real estate searching, and I, you know, found her apartment. And um, yeah, there's an awesome little like courtyard 
in the back there the, for residents, and it's just a charming little place that she would not be able to afford on her own. Her parents bought her this apartment. She's very self-sufficient and independent apart from that, but she did take her parents' gift of an apartment in Greenwich Village. So there we are. We are in Katie's neighborhood. Um, more to come later. Be sure to be following hashtag Bethany Takes Manhattan. But we're coming to you live from Katie McCaffrey's apartment. So boot cam out. Boot cam out. <laughs> I don't even.